I think we have everything we need on her. You ready to open the air vent? Ready as I'll ever be. You? I'm looking forward to exploring this ventilation system with you. You know, I can't tell if you're joking or not. I don't know if I'm capable of joking, Honor, but I would like to learn how. Wait, before we climb in, any idea where this vent goes? I don't want to end up in the furnace. I could try mapping the internal topography with active radar. I don't have a clue what that means, but if you think it'll help. I want to test something real quick. Oh, are you trying to use Aha! that so that you can sit on the couch? Puzzle start. Okay. The thing is, will you have the fine motor skills required if you're working on that thing? Who knows? I just, my back hurts from trash day the other day. She so. has this little wireless keyboard and it has a little trackpad on it? Yep. Uh, let's see. It's gotta be that. Now this is a 10 by 10. So that, that actually makes this whole business really easy. Mm -hmm. It's still kind of awkward, but like, it'll work. Actually, with a one on the far right, yeah. That means you'd have to have an X. Yep, yep. Ah, uh, yeah, how do you right-click with that? Or is it right-click to do the X or no? I, I know how to right-click. <laughs> I have tricks! Oh, that's, that must be the four. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh, so that all the one eight one eight one eight would be the exact same. Yep. Oh, so that's all filled in. Yep. And those are all filled in. I forget why we're puzzling this one. To find out the layout of the place? Yeah. Oh. Oh, how does he know this? Scans? I, I get. Oh, he does have radar, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, it's a little awkward. But this way I can also hand you the, the trackpad. Mm-hmm. And... Oops. So it has to be that, too. There we go. Ventilation map. Okay, this is actually kind of fun. I, I like Picross. I don't know if I'd, like, do too much more outside of this game. But I'm really enjoying it for this specific situation. Are there any other, like, games that are particularly Picrossy? I don't know. Uh-oh. Yeah, having but... trouble connecting. Mapping complete! The vent leads to another room of a similar size to this. Uh-oh. Yeah, if it's going to Blake's office, then his body might still be in there. Yep. Probably Blake's office. I didn't think I'd be heading back there so soon. Should I look for another way out? No. If I'm going to find a way to prove I didn't kill him, his office is the best place to start. I just hope we don't run into Detective Cross when we go there. This vent looks pretty tight. You sure we're not going to get stuck in there? Don't worry, Honor. My sensors have already measured your body and... You did what? I took approximate measurements of your body. Compared to the diameter of the ventilation shaft, it's unlikely you'll become sh stuck. Uh. Did I do something bad? 
Look out. You can't do that kind of thing without asking. Sorry, Honor. Didn't realize. Hmm. How about you just delete those measurements and we'll pretend this never happened. What measurements? <laughs> hey, you can make jokes. Come on. Let's get in that vent before I start having second thoughts. Their vent is open, they climb inside. And boy, how do they come out real dirty because those air vents are never cleaned. <laughs> no sign of Detective Cross. What's the plan now? Oh, wait, no, that's you. Oh, sorry. No sign of Detective Cross. What's the plan now? Good question. Uh, they'll find whoever did this to you, Blake. I'll make sure. Scout, can you see anything? I can currently see 432 objects. Can you be more specific, or should I scan them all individually? No, I mean, can you see anything that might shed some light on what happened? And before you say anything, I don't mean the dust lamp. Understood. I'll scan the room. Oh, idea. Do you need to get a little mouse? Yeah, I'm gonna grab a mouse. Wander's trying to get comfortable. I, like, my, this part of my back hurts really bad, so I'm trying to find ways that I cannot uh, feel like I'm Is that an old iMac? Myself. Hmm? Probably. The little teal? I remember when those, when they first outfitted those into our elementary yes. schools. Yeah, I do too. I remember being so excited when... I remember there was the one lime green one and the one orange one, and people would fight over them. Didn't they have a whole gambit of colors? Uh, yeah, they did. But teal was the most common one. The mug. Look, it's the mug. Or the computer. It's actually that? Alright, so we got seven. I think that's the only thing I could... Mm. No, I guess it would be that. Which means... That's that. Um, the six probably you could do some of the middle ones. Mm, yeah. It'd, it'd be like that. Mm -hmm. so if the six were all the way over here. Next would be these three. actually makes this entire... No, this is not... Okay. This would work except for the alligator uh, poofing on the couch. Hmm. Well, you can get the pad. I'm gonna keep... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I could actually just grab my mouse pad now that I think about it. Because I'm not using... <laughs> yeah, we still haven't gotten another mouse pad for that one. You said. Yeah, I should probably also get you, like, a new headset and a couple other things. Okay, this is better. Yep. A lot better. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. So... A one will have to be somewhere around there. Hmm. This has to be a five. Which means that could be either. It's only a two. There's a three and a three. That's a one and a four, but we don't have... Any sense of where that goes? A six and a one. So one and a two. So that could be the one, and the two could be over the there. The two would have to be there. Well, that's one of those two. Same thing with that one. That has to be a two. So that should probably be the two. So this would have to be a four. Right now? That one. Which? No, 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 that one. Up, 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 up. Down. Down. That has to be two. 
Or, no, or it could be off to the right. You're right. Yeah. Oh, but the one could be on the left. So take the X away. No, no, no. Least. I need to you leave need that to? X here. Look at this one. That one's complete. Oh, you're right. Yep. So, yeah, the two's over there. The one's over here. This would be the six. Oh. That's the six. So I haven't found the one of the one. We found that one. Uh, let's see. We found one of the twos there. So a three has to be there, which means that that one, at the very least, has to be filled in. This one? No, no, no. Go left. Well, this this has to be filled in no matter what. Okay. Yes, We don't left. know about that one. Left, left. Left. That one has to be filled. Left. No, that one has to be filled. Not both, that one. Both of those both have of to do? be filled. Because it's either three or three. Ah, uh, yeah, We're you're We're looking right. for common common spots. So all of that row can be X'd out. Yep. Okay, which would make this the three. Let's see. Conveniently. Okay. So that means we know this one. We know that can't be anything. This is still a two. So we know there's nothing on that. Let's see, one and one. So we don't know on that one. We don't know on this one. Yeah, how would that seven go? Oh, um, put the X down there. Here? Yeah. Why? Because one oh, and one. you're right. I didn't notice that column was done. It actually looks like this whole column is done as well. So then that means the two have to oh, be sorry. down there. Mm -hmm. For the seven. Yeah, you're right. If that's done. Nothing on this whole column. One of these two. Well, that has to be that. Which means that has to be that. Which means this is the three. And this is the four. Which means... There we go. It is... What is it? Red? Medical report. Oh. This is the medical examiner's report. Detective Cross must have called someone in to check the body. We use these in Murder Miss Terry when we need to know the basics about a murder. You know, cause of death, time of death. People were murdered on your TV show? Well, yeah, it, it's literally in the title. I didn't realize. I thought you said you were innocent. No one actually dies on the show, Scout. They're just acting. Acting? Oh, I see. The show wasn't real. So you're just pretending to be an actress. Uh, no, I... <laughs> I don't have time to explain this right now. Give me a minute to read this report. Cause of death, blunt force trauma to the head. Just like the detective said. Oh, that's actually Scout, right there. No, oh, cause of death, uh, no, no, blunt force no, no, trauma no, 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 to the head. No, it was the other one. Oh. Oh, you no, know, you're right, right. Whatever. Ah, we're getting messed up. Time of death, approximately 4:30 p.m. Where was I at 4:30 p.m.? According to my internal chronometer, that's when we met in the parking lot. Of course. Scout, I think you- I just found my alibi. You. Ah! Miss- Miss Rahi! What are you doing here? Bill. You really shouldn't be here, Miss- Miss Rahi. Miss Rahi. That name is actually really hard to work with. You're gonna get yourself arrested! I know I shouldn't be in here, Bill, but I just couldn't stay in that break room. Not with Becky. How'd you even get out? I thought Detective Cross locked the door. I crawled out through the ventilation system, with a little help from Scout here. I'm Scout! Uh, hi. 
What is that? A flying fax machine? He's a robot. Uh, of some kind. We haven't had much of a chance to get to know each other yet. Scout, this is Bill. He's the studio's one-man security team. Hello, Bill. Boy, technology these days is amazing, isn't it? My son can fax me his drawings from home, and they come out right in my office here. Well, up until last week, anyway. Now they got him to macaroni out at school. She's gummed up the machine something awful. Ah. Bill, I've got to prove to Detective Cross that I didn't kill Blake. Can you help out? You know I'd do anything to help you out, Miss Misrahi. Just, I just, I don't want to get into trouble. What have you been doing since Detective Cross arrived? He put me in charge of guarding the crime scene. He's got a lot to do, so I'm supposed to be, uh, I'm supposed to make sure no one gets in here or touches anything. You, you didn't, you didn't touch anything, did you? Who, me? Of course not. You've got nothing to worry about. What about the medical examiner's report? You were reading it just a minute ago. Did you forget? Uh, uh, I, um, uh. The report, oh geez, that's super important. I'm gonna be in so much trouble if Detective Cross hears about this. Thanks, Scout. You're welcome, Honor. Sarcasm flew right over his head. Oh well. What do you think of Detective Cross? Honestly, he's kinda scary. I told him I liked his badge, and he towered over me like some kind of enormous, angry telephone pole. I swear, he looks twice as big up close. He just stood there, frowning at me, felt like hours. Then he pointed at my tie and said it was unprofessional. I like this tie. All I want is to prove to Detective Cross that I didn't kill Blake. You're a smart cookie, Miss Mizrahi. But shouldn't we let the detective do his job? And stay in the break room all night? No thanks. Maybe he knows what he's doing, but it's taking too long. At this rate, the real killer is going to get away before he's even interviewed us. <sighs> I, I know I'm just an actress in a detective show. Hell, I wasn't even the main character, but I can help. Maybe, but you're gonna need some serious evidence to convince Detective Cross you're not a suspect. The medical examiner's report says that Blake died around 4.30 p.m. I'd left Blake's office way before that. That's great, but can you prove it? I've seen it in your show. You need evidence. Scout, did you record anything on those cameras of yours? Yes, Honor. Automatically, I automatically keep a cyclical buffer with the past few hours of visual input. However, I have no way of displaying those, thing, those images. All that technology and they didn't give, uh, think to give you a printer? I'll add it to the list. You know, that reminds me of the fancy CCTV system we were supposed to get. Then they trimmed the budget, and it ended up only getting installed out in the parking lot. Typical management, I'm telling you. It's all like, we can't afford more security guards, and I'm telling you... Uh, wait, wait. Are you saying there's CCTV outside? Sure, but no one showed me how to use it, but it's still there. Bill, that CCTV will prove my alibi. I was in the parking lot when the murder happened. Can you pull the footage to show to Detective Cross? Well, in theory, but you'd need my fingerprint to open the security office door, and I'm supposed to stay here and guard the crime scene. Guard it from who? Everyone else is locked in the break room. Oh, what if the murderer comes back? Then Scout will, uh, b blast them with his death ray. Really? He can do that? Scout, I don't have. Yes, that is a thing that he can do. Absolutely. Now, could you go get that tape, please? Oh, geez. Uh, okay, if you're sure, I'll be as quick as I can. Honor, I don't have a death ray. I know, Scout. But just play along, okay? My first real crime scene. It's nothing like I imagined. I 
I thought you pretended to solve crimes on your TV show. I did. And I've read so many mystery novels, seen so many movies. It sounds stupid now, but I guess I convinced myself I'd know how to handle a real murder. But now I'm standing here, looking at the body of my friend and... Uh, Bill? Did you get the tapes already? Uh Ahem. Jesus! Detective Cross will do just fine, thanks. You want to give me an explanation, or shall I skip straight to the handcuffs? Detective Cross. I can't wait to see how you're going to try and talk your way out of this. Okay, I can explain everything. How'd you even get in here? Uh, through the air vent? The air vent? Who do you think you are, John McClane? Maybe if you hadn't locked us in the break room, I could have used the door like a normal person. Oh, really? My apologies. I didn't realize I should have made it easier for you to tamper with the crime scene. I realize this looks bad, but I got sick of waiting around. You haven't even taken our statements yet. This is real life, not some two-bit TV show. Good police work takes time. I'm just trying to find some way to prove I didn't kill Blake. He was my friend. And you thought breaking into the crime scene was going to help your case. Actually, it did. There's solid proof I didn't do it. Bill's just gone to get the security tapes. I was beginning to wonder where he'd gone. Maybe you convinced him to leave so you could screw around with the real evidence. You'll see once he gets back. You just have to trust me. <laughs> Trust doesn't get you very far in my line of work. Have you got any leads yet? Yeah, I'm looking at one right now. Please, detective. I was just trying to help. Being a detective on TV doesn't mean you're qualified to waltz in and take over a real murder investigation. Real police work isn't in a game. It's dangerous. And you don't know the first thing about it. That's what- oh. That's where you're wrong. My dad was on the force. And I suppose he told you all about it? He didn't have to. He'd come home exhausted every night. I saw what it did to him. I might not have the training, but I understand the job. I know what it takes. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I've seen your show. You wouldn't last five minutes on the force. What'd you do if the killer showed up right now? I'd blast him with my death ray. <laughs> Uh, he's just kidding, detective. I mean, you could introduce Scout now that Scout's made himself known. Please? We'll get oh. there. What's taking you so long anyways? We've been stuck here in that room for hours. I'm just doing my job. There are a th lot of things to cover. Security, photography, evidence collection. I've read through enough mysteries to know it shouldn't take this long. Something's wrong. So I'm a little understaffed. Nothing I can't handle. Oh, great. It's reassuring to know that Blake's death is so high on the LAPD's list of priorities. Central's screwing me around again, but it won't work. I might be old, but I'm not getting pushed to the desk, uh, to, into a desk job yet. It takes as long as it takes, and that's the end of it. Detective Cross, this is Scout. Looks like something out of Buck Rogers. Are you a real detective? Can you help me find my creator? You better get a, this flying toaster out of my face before things get ugly. Scout, maybe you should leave the nice detective alone. Oh. All right, Ms. Rahi. I think it's about time we move this conversation down to the precinct, don't you? I got it, Honor! I found the security tape! Nice of you to join us. D Detective Cross! Oh, jeez! I mean, uh, oh, what a pleasant surprise! Uh, maybe I'm get- oh, sorry. Maybe I'm getting forgetful in my old age, but didn't I tell you to guard this room? I am guarding this room! I mean, I was, I just had to go and, uh, Care to explain how Miss Marple over here managed to get in? You said to make sure nobody got through that door. 
You uh, didn't say anything about the air vent. So you wandered off and let a, left a murder suspect at the scene of the crime. Alone with all the evidence! Well, when you say it like that... I only went to go check the CCTV system. Wouldn't have been, would have been back sooner, but I had to take the darn thing apart to get the tape. Couldn't you just press the eject button? There's an eject button. So what do you say, detective? Oh, sorry. So what do you say, detective? Care to see my evidence? You got five minutes. After that, I'm taking you downtown. That's all I need. Scout, can you scan this? Puzzle. All right, ten. The well, that's easy. Boah. Bango. Banger dango. There's nothing else. All right. So, whoops. Actually, do we know that? I mean, no. Mm -mm. Wait. Yes, it has to be. We do know that. Yeah. Because all of these are ones. So that means that those have to be filled up. Sevens. Yep. And since these are isolated ones, it's probably on the right sides, but... Mm-hmm. Well, actually, it has to be. That's weird. And then that means there will be... Oh, Cause... yeah. Oh, yeah, it should be fairly symmetrical. Well, the other thing is, uh, these are this is a four and that's this a is two. a four. Yeah, those are two. So that's not. Yeah. So. Hmm. Yeah, those are two fours. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, these are twos. Um. Would the two be there? Unsure. Oh, that's a row of eight in the middle. Yeah. So that means... It, what it, yeah, we don't know about that. This is a ten, though. Which makes this a little easier. Uh, let's see. It's a row of eight. If this is two, one, that means mm -hmm. that's that. Which means that's there. That has to be filled in up there on the right. Mm -hmm. Far right. What? Here? Two? Oh. The, both of these. On the CCTV tape. Oh, that's just the tape itself? And you got up to Detective Frank D. More bonus puzzles. Okay, what are we looking at? This is security footage of the parking lot earlier this afternoon. Look, there's Bill. Who's that in the background? Looks like they got spa spray cans. You got a problem with vandals around here, Bill? Them? No, they're just cra contractors. We got a lot of them around here. Do I, they're not contractors, they're kids. They've got skateboards, for God's sake. Didn't you say you were looking for kids doing graffiti earlier, Bill? Oh, jeez! As enlightening as this is for some of us, I don't see how it proves anything useful. I'm getting to that, Detective. Bill, can you fast forward to around 4.30 p.m.? There! That's it! See? That's me, standing by my car. I spoke to Bill, then Scout. Okay, you're in the parking lot. So what? <laughs> there are kids which is I don't know, I'm kidding. Blake was already dead. He died around 4.30 p.m. And the CCTV footage clearly shows I was in the parking lot. Well, I'll be damned. Not bad for a TV detective, huh? Guess not. Now, if I can just get you to write... Wait a second. How do you know the time of death? 
Bill, did you let her read the medical report? Oh, jeez. Listen up, everyone. I'll need you to keep need to keep you here for a l little longer. Please, detective. I've spent the last twenty minutes trying to get John and Becky to stop arguing. I'd have more luck sorting out the Middle East. If you need something to keep you occupied, start working on those statements. What about me? Can I help out in some other way? Scout could. Listen, Nancy Drew. Mm -hmm. You got lucky with that CCTV, but that was all it was—luck. Now go home and let the professionals handle this. Hey! How come she gets to go home? She could be the murderer! I've seen evidence that proves otherwise. The only thing she's guilty of is being a pain in my ass. You... you can't keep me locked up in here! What if I'm next? Don't worry, babe. If anything try... if anyone tries anything, I'll whack him with one of my dumbbells. You brought dumbbells with you on your job? I think I I think we found the murderer, but I think we kind of figured as much. Uh-huh. He he wasn't keeping with his proper alibi before. Or not alibi, his his persona, I suppose He's I should say. He's just like the only one capable of it, but it's very possible it's somebody else. I just he's so goddamn suspicious. Mhm. Mm no one even knows how he's there. Yeah, or who he is. <laughs> You never know when you're going to find a spare five minutes to work up a sweat. Know what I mean? Ugh. A reclusive nun would get what you mean. And even she thinks five minutes is pathetic. <laughs> uh-huh. Wait, did I just find Becky funny? Detective, I'm begging you! You've got to let me out of here! I'm going stir-crazy! Fine, you can leave the goddamn room. Just stay inside studio the studio grounds, okay? I mean it. If any of you try anything, I'll have you, have you tackled by a patrolman faster, faster than you can say WrestleMania. Quick question, how cute is this theoretical patrolman? How good is his credit? Does he get on well with his mother? As for you, go home! Just for the record, you guys are all crazy. I'm putting that in my report. Praise the goddess for free. Ish. Guess I should go home now, like he said. Oh, don't feel bad, babe. You earned it. You said you were going to prove yourself innocent, and you went out and did it. I did, didn't I? So what are you waiting for? You're free to go. Uh-oh. You've got that look on your face. Don't think you can hide it from me, Missy. I know that look. That's Honor Mizrahi. I'm not getting it, giving in. Special. It's just... I got myself out of trouble. But what about you guys? What about Blake? He gave me my big break. I wouldn't even be here without him. He wasn't just my boss. He was my friend. Right up until he fired you. But that's just it. It, it doesn't make any sense. All I could think of at the time was how angry I was, but looking back, I was so nervous. You've been playing a detective too long, babe. You're starting to sound like one. Do you think he was blackmailed into firing her? Possibly. Hmm. It's not just me. There's something else going on. I can't just leave. If you want to keep investigating on her, I'm here to help. Scout? Don't you want to go and find a real detective? Yeah, you may not be a real detective, but maybe that's okay. Maybe what I really need is a partner. I'm good at finding things, but I'm no good with people. But you convinced Bill to help you. You can you proved your innocence to Detective Cross. So maybe I don't need a real detective after all. Because together, we can solve anything. If you want to try, that is. Why not? 
I think I'm getting to like having you around anyway. How about you, Casey? Will you help me look into it? Absolutely. You know I've got your back. But, uh, can I pop into the loo first? I've needed to go for hours, and I'm genuinely scared something's about to burst. Location okay. unlocked. Orifice. Office. <laughs> investigate. We can still investigate for some reason. 